There's no idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. She's... talking to me. Okay, Desmond. While you were, uh, visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. All right. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. <sighs> okay, Desmond. Let's practice climbing on these objects. That's a constraint. These are optional objectives that raise your synchronization rate. All right, Desmond, follow the on-screen instructions and kill the two Templars. All you have to do here is jump the gap. Synchronization levels look good now. You should be able to build the world. Time to find out what the temple wants from you. All right. Sir? Sir? Everything all right, sir? Yes. Fine. I'm just preoccupied, that's all. Don't forget your invitation. Master Birch will be meeting you inside. <coughs> Thank you. Where shall I retrieve you once you're done? Front of the Opera House. And be quick about it. Don't expect to be here long. 
I'll bring her round at once. Invitation, please. Shall I take your coat, sir? Ladies and gentlemen, you are requested to kindly find your seats. Good evening, sir. This way, please. Apologies. <laughs> Evening, Haytham. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child, though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? He's seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. We'll need to find another way up. <laughs> I already have. A thousand pardons. Uh, my apologies.
of them. You should have come to me. We would have found another way. Yes. But then you would have known. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. As am I. There is no danger! It happened we right in that balcony! What? what are those it's men doing about? I'm staying where it's safe! Order! Move. We must have order! Move. And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. <laughs> Shall we be off then? Aye. To Fleet and Bride. By your command. Fascinating. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key. And if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge. Perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain, whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is? Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command. Although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, you will want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. <laughs> Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all.
fresh air might do me good. Hello, sir. Do you expect we'll have a pleasant crossing? It is a quiet time of year, though rogue storms and troubled waters are not unheard of. But no need to fret. At worst, they'll prove an inconvenience. I'm more concerned about pirates and rogue privateers. Have you encountered them before? Aye. But the Providence is a strong ship, and her crew well trained. They will surely keep us safe. And then all will be well. You sure about that? Of course. Have I ever led you astray? Nah. Though no, you don't sit right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. Seems our esteemed guest has deigned to grace us with his presence. You might want to head back to your quarters. Top deck's no place for tender parnells. <laughs> so I thought. And yet here you are. Fancy yourself a joker, eh? Let's see how funny you find this. That's enough, Graves. Stay out of this. Sees to hell us. with the captain. And to hell with you, Mills. Who signed you on anyway? We're well, ready to go again if you are. This is unwise. Why well, is that? You think I'm afraid of you? No. But you should be. Do you yield? Never! <laughs> How do you like these odds? Mr. Kenway. These fought. We were simply passing the time with a bit of sport, Captain. How about you pass the time by doing your goddamn jobs instead? I wasn't aware I was paying you to loll about. A word, please, Mr. Kenway. Oh, I nearly forgot. There's your knife back. I don't care for you, Mr. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon? You're a poor leader, ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no respect for you. 
Look, I don't want to argue. In fact, I need a favor. Oh, this is rich. I suspect some of the men intend to mutiny. Really? What a surprise. As I cannot trust any of them, I am compelled to turn to you. And why should I help you? Because if they do intend to betray, I'm the only hope you have of reaching America alive. Well, what will it be? If what you say is true, what other choice do I have? Thank you. But let me be clear. Should you ever dare to insult or threaten me again, I'll not hesitate but to cut off your head myself. Are we understood? Excellent. Good day. Mr. Kenway. Captain. Whatever they're up to, I believe it's coming to a head. Then I'd best get to work. He's cut our rations again. Claims we're not provisioned for such luxuries. It's not right that you should feast on lamb and wine. We're stuck with tinned fish. Are you looking for another fight? That it? Go away. Quite the basting you gave Graves and Quill. Wasn't by choice. Aye. Blockheads, the both of them. Where are my manners? Louis Mills. Pleased to meet you. Atham Kenway. So, should I be watching my back? I think the boys learned their lesson. They're normally not so nasty. Honest, it's just the past few crossings have been a bit rough. Oh? <laughs> Captain's trying to cut costs, reduce rations, lower wages, more dangerous cargo. It's put the crew on edge. Is there cause for concern, then? Not if I can help it. But the captain needs to think about the way he treats his men. You there. I have some questions for you. That's nice, but I ain't got time to gossip. Probably wouldn't have anything useful to share anyway. You want information? Try the cook or the doctor. Everyone's always chatting them up. Be serving for another couple hours. Some biscuits in the barrel if you're desperate. Actually, I've come with a question. What's that? Have any of the men been acting strange recently? Said anything that struck you as out of the ordinary? The boys cry about the rations as if there's anything I can do about it. But beyond that, I ain't heard much. My advice go find James. His ears are always open. And where might I find him? Right behind you, actually. He's the one sitting on the barrel.
Are you James? Hi. Hatham Kenway. Pleased to meet you. I know who you are. I was hoping you could answer some questions. I figured as much, but not here. Follow me. So, what do you want to know? Have you seen or heard anything out of the ordinary since we left port? Anything that gives cause for concern? Some of the men have been gathering at night on the upper deck. I've only caught bits of their conversations, so I couldn't say for certain what they're up to. But I suspect it bodes ill. Is it a mutiny they're planning? All I know is they've little love for the captain. Mills has been trying to talk him down, but there's only so much one man can do. Thank you for the information. I only wish to see us reach the colonies alive. Evening, sir. How are things? Calm and quiet. Just the way I like it. What brings you topside? Thought I'd wander a bit. Stretch my legs. That's all. Take care where you tread. The deck hides all manner of danger in the dark. What was that? Someone's throwing cargo overboard. But why? You're not having second thoughts, are you? He's got our rations again. Claims we're not provisioned for such luxuries. It's not right that you should feast on lamb and... We're stuck with tinned fish and biscuits. <clears throat> Most curious. What next? Any news? Each night it's the same. I scout one area, and they drop the painted barrels from another. I'm going to need to recruit an extra pair of eyes. Maybe James or Mills. Why are they doing this? Near as I can tell, the barrels serve as markers. They're leaving a trail. My fear is it's only a matter of time before whoever's following it... Ship sighted aft! She's making ready to fire! Beat to quarters, men! Ready the... Brace! Everybody down! A warning shot! Seems they don't mean to sink us, but board us instead! Man the cannons! Make ready to fight! I want you below decks! Why? Let me help you secure the ship. Do you know how to rig a sail? To load a cannon? To wage war at sea? I didn't think so. Now return to your cabin, or do I need to have you escorted? Prick. Secure the hatch! <clears throat> Hayton. Have you been topside? A ship's appeared and means to board us. It's strange. There's no sign of mutiny aboard. It doesn't make sense. Ah, but it does. What do you mean? Did you think you could escape from London so easily after what you did at the Opera? That we wouldn't notice? That we wouldn't follow? Ah. Oh. So that's what this is about. Surrender, and I will see that you are treated with honor. If you wish to treat me with honor, 
Give me a sword. Are you sure this is how you want to play it? Stay below decks. I did as you asked. Only Mills was there waiting for me. He's the one that drew that ship here. There was no mutiny. Only him. What do they want? Me. Then they can have you. Is that so? You'll catch us anyway. There's nothing to be done. I can think of something. You wish us to sail into the storm? It's our only chance. I won't do it. All right. Yeah.
you. Thank you. You're welcome, James. Make ready for our arrival, men! Arrival? I see no land, only this interminable fog. The gulls tell us all we need to know. Climb into the crow's nest and you'll see. I remember this is back when they stopped having you frickin' press X all the damn time when you're climbing. Now you just run at something and you climb up. Journey to the new worlds. Master Kenway! Master Kenway! Yes, may I help you? Charles Lee, sir. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. I've been asked to introduce you to the city, help you settle in. Oh, no need, sir. I've arranged for your bags to be delivered to the inn. Are you by any chance John and Isabella's son? One and the same. Your commission is with Edward Braddock, is it not? Aye. But he's yet to reach America, and I figured I might... Well... At least until he arrives, I thought. Yes? Out with it? Forgive me, sir. I had... I had hoped that I might study Hello, under sir. you. If I am to serve the Order, I can imagine no better mentor than yourself. Kind of you to say, but I think you overestimate me. Impossible, sir. Bloody this way. Boston's quite a lively city. There's all manner of things to see and do. Once you've settled in, I suggest you take some time to walk the streets. Who knows what opportunities you might discover. Hold a moment. We need to fetch a few things before we get to work. I'll arrange for horses while you do that. I feel like I'm moving way faster than I normally used to. Get back here! Damn sprigs. This accursed city will be the death of me. 
You seem troubled, friend. That's because I am. Greatly so, in fact. What's happened? I was robbed. The old Balkan file. Though I've managed to restore what's mine, I fear it's ruined. You mean the book? This is no ordinary book. It's an almanac. The first I ever wrote. <clears throat> Benjamin Franklin, pleased to meet you. Hatham Kenway. You must be new to Boston. Why do you say that? You're still possessed of virtue. <laughs> to stop and help an old lout like myself. I... I don't mean to impose, but... You seem a spry fellow. Should you happen to find my missing pages, I'll reward you. Look, I'm not sure if I... It's all right, all right. If you have the time, hurrah! If not, no harm done. The thing is useless in its current state anyway. But, should you somehow manage to restore it, you'll find me inside that general store over there. Well... That was interesting. Hmm. For the sturdiest and most seamless barrels in America, call upon John Cooper for seven generations. Cooper's the name you can trust. Come and enter, please. We ride for the Green Dragon Tavern. The proprietors are eccentric, but the rooms are spacious and they do not cry. Have you been told why it is I've come to Boston? No. Master Birch said I should know only as much as you saw fit to share. He sent me a list of names and bade me ensure you could find them. And have you had any luck with that? Aye. William Johnson waits for us at the Green Dragon. How well do you know him? Not well. But he saw the order's mark and did not hesitate to come. Prove yourself loyal to our cause. And you may yet know our plans as well. I should like nothing more, sir. A lying, cheating, no good son of a bitch. Perhaps we've come at a bad time. Oh, don't be foolish, dearies. Please, sit. Fancy something to eat? A drink, perhaps? Or is it a bed you require? We've already let rooms here. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> of course. Masters Lee and Kenway, uh, was it? Uh, I'll have your bags brought up.
Do you require anything further? Only privacy. Charles looked like this he way. was like, mm, I think I'll help her out with the whole cheating thing, you know? Help it get even. <laughs> That's the kind of look he looked like he had. <laughs> Sir, William Johnson. A pleasure. A good lad, if a bit earnest. I'm told you're putting together an expedition. We believe there's a precursor site in the region. I require your knowledge of the land and its people to find it. Sadly, my research has been stolen. Without it, I'm of no use to you. Then we'll find it. Do you have any leads? My associate, Thomas Hickey, has been making the rounds. He's quite good at loosening tongues. Well, tell me where I can find him. I'll see if I can't speed things up. We've heard rumors of bandits operating from a compound southwest of here. You'll likely find him there. Charles? Sir. We'd best be off. Of course. I forgot you can't move quickly inside bu buildings like this. Got to move it very slowly. Oh, this mission. Been a hot minute. <coughs> Thomas Hickey? Who's asking? Haytham Kenway. Is that supposed to mean something? Show some respect, boy. Peace, Charles. William Johnson sent us in the hopes we might expedite your search. We don't need no expediting. Don't need none of your fancy London speak, neither. I found the men that done the theft. Then why are you just lazing around? Figuring out how to deal with those varlets. I have an idea. Well, let's hear it. I'll kill the lookout, take up a position behind the guards. Uh, you two, approach from the front. When I open fire on the group, you charge in. We'll have the element of surprise on our side. Half will fall before they've even realized what's happened. into position, but wait for me to take the first shot.
back! Fall back! We'll be safe inside! What now? We can blow the door with those. Go on, shoot them. On with the show, then. Guess they wasn't so safe inside after all. Lay down your weapons, and I'll consider letting you live. I make you the same offer. We've no quarrel. I only wish to return this chest to its rightful owner. Nothing rightful about Mr. Johnson. I won't ask again. Agreed. Your kind has no need for books and maps. Who put you up to this? Never seen a person. It's always been dead drops and letters. But they always pay, so we do the jobs. Well, those days are done. Tell your masters I said as much. <laughs> Who should I say you are? You don't. They'll know. Atham, this one's got some shot on him. You might want to be grabbing it on account of your pistol being parched. A shame so many had to die. Aye. Terrible tragedy, that. Back to the Green Dragon, then. I need a drink. Don't let go of the chest, Charles. We'll take care of this rabble. to have loot on them would be a shame to let it all go to waste are you mad in case you've forgotten we're in the midst of something oh why is you always got to go and spoil the spool Just a few fools with knives. They ain't so tough. It's not the scoundrels I'm concerned with.
Oi! Mr. Johnson's gonna need to double my pay after all this if he expects me to keep at his side. There you are. My thanks, Master Kenway. No. Tell me what it is you need. The images on this amulet, are they familiar to you? Perhaps one of the tribes has shown you something similar. It appears Kanyan Gahaga in origin. Can you trace it to a specific location? I need to know where it came from. With my research returned, perhaps. <laughs> Let me see what I can do. Thomas! What? Rent yourself a room. And a bath as well. <laughs> I suspect we'll be here for a while. Good evening, gentlemen. Charming. Oh, peace, <laughs> Charles. He'll grow in you. Oi! Catherine, you fussock! Get back here! Daddy needs a drink. How fares the search? Maths and maps are not cutting it. What of your local contacts? We'll need to earn their trust before they'll share what they know. <sighs> I have an idea on how we might be affecting that. There's a man who's taken to enslaving natives. Rescue them, and they'll owe us. Do you know where they're being held? Afraid not. Benjamin Church will. He's a finder and a fixer. He's also on your list. And there I was, wondering whom I might solicit next. Well done. On to the next one. Charles? Sir? <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> Seems like we're not the only ones looking for Mr. Church. Damn it, he could be anywhere. What do we do? We find him. Show you how. Should we write his family, do you think? Not our business to meddle, even if we've the best of intentions. But if you could have seen it, they were surely drunk carrying on like that, and during the day, no less. Well, no shit! Thompson's Brook 
scandalous behavior from one who aims to be a surgeon. Not likely if he keeps up such carousing. Truly a shameful display. Benjamin's parents would be mortified. Perhaps I should send someone to retrieve him before he damages his reputation beyond repair. They stumbled off to the northeast. No doubt in search of a tavern or some other place of ill repute. Start questioning those on the street. I'm headed for higher ground. Hey, looking like a badass. Time to take a listen. With luck, one of those people knows what became of Benjamin. in character. Indeed. All manner of Arifs and natty lads now walk the streets. Why, just earlier today I had a run-in with some. Do tell. It was down by the church. A group of men comes rushing through when one of them suddenly falls to the ground, all torn up. I thought about going to see if he needed help, but a look from one of them changed my mind. Probably for the best. Those aren't the sort of people you want to get mixed up with. Probably looking for a nice, quiet place to do the deed. From what I hear tell, his work usually involves quite a bit of screaming. Which reminds me, we'd best not buy any meat to the <laughs> Good call, that. trifling matter, and he'd be returned home soon. There was some blood, though, so I wonder if it wasn't more serious than they let on. Where were they taking him? Towards the hilltop. Perhaps there's a doctor at the fort. Ah. See, Charles? We'll have church in no time, just as I said we would. If I might ask, sir, where did you learn to do all this? It is a requirement when you are raised in the manner that I was. Perception is fundamental to the order. It guides the feet when running and climbing, informs the hands when striking and fighting. 
But most important, it transforms the senses, and we begin to know the world in a different way. Careful. The place is well guarded. You need to slip past them. I'll have to find the key. Wait here. Here we are then. Why must you always make these things so difficult, Benjamin? Merely provide me with recompense, and all shall be forgiven. I'll not pay for protection I don't need. Clearly, you do require protection. Else we wouldn't be here. How very gauche. Now, what shall we do about our guest? Maybe I take his hands, put an end to his surgery. Maybe I take his tongue, put an end to his waggling. Or maybe I take his cock, put an end to his fucking us. So many options. I can't possibly decide. Take all three. No, hold a moment. Perhaps I was hasty in refusing you earlier. I'm so very sorry, Benjamin. But that door has closed. Be reasonable, Silas. I rather think I was. But you took advantage of my oh. generosity. I won't be made a fool a second time. I fear I lack the constitution to bear witness to such barbarism. Come find me when you're finished, Cutter. You'll regret this, Silas, do you hear me? I'll have your head! No. I rather think you won't. <clears throat> a little bit from here, a little bit from there. Make myself 
yourself a nice keepsake, I will. You're absolutely mad. Just like all good artists. Hold still a minute. I gotta decide where to start. Your parents must be. Who are you? Haytham Kenway, at your service. I... I don't understand. Why are you here? Uh, walk with me, Mr. Church, and all will be explained. Yep. Making friends is easy. I mean, yeah, if you're saving their ass like that, yeah. <laughs> Johnson's told me what you intend. As it happens, the man who held me is the same one that you seek. His name is Silas Thatcher. That fancy lad is our slaver. Don't let his velvet tongue deceive you. A crueler and more vicious creature I've never known. What can you tell me of his operation? He hosts at least a hundred men, more than half of whom are redcoats. All this for some slaves? <laughs> Hardly. The man's a commander in the King's troop, in charge of the Southgate Fort. We need to find a way inside. Hmm, let me think on it. In the meantime, I'll attend to our final recruit. John Pitcairn's our man. I'll take you to him. State your business. New recruit. More kindling for the pyre, eh? Well, go on, then. How'd you manage that? Did you forget, sir? My commission is with General Braddock. When I'm not attending to you, of course. Planning to announce yourself, or did you hope my men Sir, wouldn't notice your arrival? If you'll allow me to explain. Oh, oh, by all means. I should like very much to hear this. I have not deserted, sir. I am here under Commander Amherst's orders. Show me a letter bearing his seal, and you might be spared the gallows. I have no such thing. The nature of my work, sir. It's, it's the sort of thing best not put to paper. Hate them. General Braddock? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Wolves often travel in packs. Master Pitcairn won't be here for but a few weeks. I shall return him to his proper post once our work is finished. The devil's work, no doubt. It's bad enough my superiors have insisted. I grant you use of Charles. But they've said nothing about this traitor. You'll not have him. Edward, listen to reason. We're done here. See these gentlemen out. That's a bad idea, Braddock. Well, that didn't go as I expected. And to think I used to call him brother. What now? Well, they'll chase us off if we try and return. We're done with this camp. And as luck would have it, so are they. Come along. What are you planning? To steal Master Pitcairn. What? You'll see. Now, when I give the signal, you're to distract Braddock's patrol and lure them into a dead end.
We're perhaps down Marlborough. Net one of Lynn or Ship Street. Yes. Those fresh arrived are often soon in dire straits. They're more likely to seize upon an opportunity to fatten their purses and feed their young. Damn it, Charles! Charles, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Unhand him, Edward. Uh, you again. Let us go. And John Pitcairn with us. <laughs> I will not have my authority challenged. Nor I. Put them all in chains. them on their fool's errand and when you find yourself lying i assume broken, you've good reason for causing all this madness what is it you require of me i'll explain everything on the way Gentlemen, I believe I found the solution to our problem. Or rather, Odysseus has. How do you? Be a new guy? The Greek hero, you lobcock. Allow me to explain. We enter Silas Fort, under the pretext of kinship. Once inside, we spring our trap, 
Free the captives and kill the slaver. <laughs> dodgy, dodgy. I like it. Then, let us begin. Oh. First, we need to find ourselves a convoy. Convoy should be here soon. We'll attack on my signal. Understood, sir. If we time this right, we can catch them all unawares. We've had ourselves an unhappy little accident. Get it sorted, and quickly. Of course, my lord. of his vanguard. Let no man reach us. What about me? You and John will follow from a distance and keep watch over us. I'll signal you when I have need of your services. We're here to help you, along with those held inside Southgate Fort. Free me. Not until we're inside the gate. I can't chance an inspection of the gate going wrong. I'll see you safe. You have my word. <laughs> Do you know anything of Silas' operation? How many men we might expect? The nature of their defenses? You must be rather important to him if you are given your own escort. Sir, we have enemies ahead. Shall I engage them? No. Let Jonathan and Thomas take care of it. As you wish. I wish you'd trust us. Though I suppose it's only natural for you to be wary. So be it. Engage the enemy! us.
Come here. I want to take a look before silence you. On your guard, men. Of course. Only say the word and I'll cut them down. Me and you. Who's your officer? Engage the enemy! All clear! Evening, gentlemen. State your business. Delivery for Silas. Go on. See? I'm freeing you just as I said I would. Now, if you'll allow me to explain. Let her go. But she'll give us away. No, she won't. What's the plan? Free the captives and avoid detection. What of Silas? He dies. I know when you're ready to strike. Greetings. How fares the watch? Who are you? Thomas Smith, newly recruited. Arrived from London just last week, in fact. And you ought to patrol with us. So said Silas. Hmm. I assume it's all rather straightforward. Watch for disturbances, ensure order is maintained. Hmm. Merchandise? If you don't know, you don't need to. Just do as you've been told and stay out of our way. Of course. I assume it's quiet here most days? Aye, uh, on occasion we'll catch a smuggler trying to bury contraband in small fine. Such a shame. The colonies are meant to be an opportunity. That's another war. Oi, fellas. Apologies for me tardiness. Cutter had me working late. You know Cutter? <laughs> well, who do you think got me this post? We're like brothers, me and him. Now, what's this Silas want us doing? We need to wrap up the
man dead so now. Bye. Bye bye. An hour of quiet was all I asked. Instead, I'm awakened not ten minutes later by this cacophonous madness. I expect an explanation, and it had best be good. How? How did this happen? My precious merchandise set free! It's unacceptable! Rest assured, I'll have the heads of those responsible. But first, first we clean up this mess. Seal the fort, kill any who try to escape. I don't care if they be one of us, or one of... them. To approach the gate is to be made a corpse! Am I understood? Push them back! I'll deal with this, sir! No mercy! Fire! Reload! He's here! Stop the interloper! Kill Benjamin. the intruders! All Glad of them. to have you with us. I could use some help. I'll fill it you like a king. The one responsible! Kill him!
Benjamin. Glad to have you with us. I can. Oh. Who are you? Name's Hatham Kenway. You don't know me, but I believe the two of you are well acquainted. I made a promise to you, Cyrus. One I intend to keep. Damn. Right through his fucking face. <coughs> <coughs> What happens now? We wait. And not for very long, I suspect. It's been several weeks now since we freed the Mohawk prisoners from captivity. I had hoped their leader might make contact, but there's been only silence. My men grow restless. They want to know what comes next, and I do not have an answer. Lee alone remains active, pursuing leads, however slight. He stalks the city streets and scouts the bordering woods, hopeful that he might make contact with one of those we saved. There was a woman there that night. It was she who helped the others to safety. If we can find her, I believe I'll have my answers. So, I watch and wait, hopeful that my true mission might finally begin. Charles, any luck finding our mystery woman? Word is she's been stirring up trouble just outside the city in a town called Lexington. Well, then that's where we begin our search. I'll meet you there. I feel like I should be able to haul ass a lot more.
I forgot how narrow this shit was. Have you found her? She's made camp not too far from here. Excellent. Well, the sooner we're done, the sooner we can get out of this cold. We'll move faster on horseback. I'm afraid I have some bad news, sir. Oh? Braddock is insisting I return to service under him. I've tried to beg off to no avail. No doubt he's still angry about losing Pitcairn. To say nothing of the shaming we gave him. Do as he asks. In the meantime, I'll work on having you released. I'm sorry for the trouble. Not your fault. We're too late. Fire's only just been snuffed. Snow recently disturbed. She's close. <laughs> Bollocks. These tracks are fresh. They must be hers. Mm. Seems she took to higher ground. Out of the snow and into the trees. Come back! Do you return to Braddock, Charles, before he grows suspicious? I can handle things from here. But, sir! But nothing! Go! Stop running! I only wish to talk! I am not your enemy! Please just hear me out! God's woman! Only let me speak! Enough with these games! It is him!
Try my patience, woman! Are you touched in the head? Me? Haytham. I come in peace. Why are you speaking so slow? Sorry. What do you want? Well, your name, for one. I'm Gadzi Zio. Well, pleased to meet you. God, God's day. Just call me Zio. Dio. Zio. Now well, tell me why it is you're here. Where did you get this? From an old friend. I've only seen such markings in one other place. Where? Well, it is forbidden for me to speak of it. I saved your people. Does this mean nothing to you? Look, I am not the enemy. Close to here, there is a hill. Meet me there, and we'll see if you speak the truth. <laughs> that town hosts soldiers who seek to drive my people from these lands. They're led by a man known as the Bulldog. Edward Braddock. You know him? He is no friend of mine. Every day, more of my people are lost to men like him. Then I suggest we put a stop to it. Together. What do you propose? That we kill Edward Braddock. But first, we have to find him. I don't trust you. I know. Uh, wait here. A Mohawkman is likely to raise suspicions, if not muskets. This is hardly the first time I've been amongst your people. I can handle myself. <laughs> I hope so. Can't stand being quartered there. The endless crashing of the waves. The sting of the salt in my eyes. And the goddamn gulls shrieking and shitting everywhere. You're sure that's where we're going? Aye. The Bulldog's putting together another expedition. Well, that's what they're calling them now. Expeditions. All right. Smart, too. Slap a fancy name on something and all evil is excused. I hear tell the French are ready to move on our positions. Wonder what Braddock intends to do about it. He's already left for the advance camp. I'll wager our little holiday here is just about ended. We'll be marching south before weeks end.
Where are you going, Cully? Me? No, the other cock robin. Well, I, uh... I was leaving. Oh? And now? Well, now... I'm going to feed you your teeth. And you were worried I was going to be the problem? You're hurt. Oh, that's nothing. Here. I should stop the bleeding. That wasn't necessary. But thank you. Oh, we should move on. Catch and feels. Meet me at Braddock's camp when you're ready. Use the snowstorm to mask your approach. Having second thoughts? Hardly. 
but I'll have to approach this carefully. Go on, then. I'll keep watch from here. Hmm. I can hide in that cart. Blankets, a cart feed for the horses. What else? That's it. That's all there is. I hate that I have no access to using the uh, the other things. Those cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. solution was no solution at all that allowing the French to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict one in which they now have the upper hand there's merit to those words as much as I hate to admit it still can't he see this is unwise it doesn't fit well with me either we're far from home with our forces divided worse I fear Braddock's bloodlust makes him careless it puts them at a risk I'd rather not be delivering grim news to mothers and widows because the bulldog wanted to prove a point. Where is the general now? Rallying the troops. And then it's on to Fort Duquesne, I assume? Eventually. The march north will surely take time. There's a copy of the plans in the command tent should you wish to review them. At least this will be ended soon. I try, John. I know, my friend. I know. That map will surely be of use. I need to find it.
Fucking going right through the snow like a fucking idiot. But this dumbass doesn't know how to fucking travel on top of the fucking branches and shit. <laughs> what news? Braddock has left to rally his troops. They're marching on Fort Duquesne. It'll be a while yet till they're ready, which gives us time to form a plan. No need. We will ambush him here near the river. Go and gather your allies. I will do the same. I will send word when it is time to strike. Oh, fuck. My damn eyes, man. <sighs> Give me a minute.
Motherfucker. the cold cold ground here here hard at work i see how did you <laughs> it is time we set up camp to the north meet me there gentlemen let us away Stumbling around. First it was too cold. Now it's too goddamn hot. And humid too. It's a right swamp, I tell you. Uh, to say nothing of the mosquitoes. Warm weather and bugs are soon to be the least of our worries. What? You mean the bulldog? <laughs> Please. We'll be in that one's beef soon enough and on to the next. Where's your boy Lee gone off to? Returned to finish out his service under Braddock. I imagine the bulldog's none too pleased after the stunt we pulled. Pleased to spin a tale of my incompetence and beg forgiveness. He is away with words, especially when it comes to flattery. I expect he'll be welcomed back with open arms. Which would give us a man inside. Precisely. Unless you've underestimated our enemies. If I have, Charles will sense it first and make his escape. He's more clever than you think. I see you've been busy. All these men are from many different tribes. United in their desire to see Braddock sent away. The Abenaki, the Lenape, the Shawnee. And you? Who do you stand for? Myself. What would you have me do? Will you help the others to prepare? Follow. All right. 
them. They come. Everything all right, sir? Just savoring the moment. No doubt, many wonder why it is we've pushed so far west. These are wild lands as yet untamed and unsettled. But it shall not always be so. In time, our holdings will no longer suffice. And that day is closer than you think. We must ensure our people have ample room to grow and further prosper. Which means we need more land. The French understand this and endeavor to prevent such growth. They skirt around our territory, erecting forts and forging alliances, awaiting the day they might strangle us with the noose they've built. This must not come to pass. We must sever the cord and send them back. This is why we ride, to offer them one last chance. The French will leave, or they will die. Now is the time to strike. Wait. To scatter the expedition is not enough. We must ensure that Braddock falls, else he's sure to try again. I'll disguise myself as one of his own and make my way to his side. Your ambush will provide the perfect cover for me to deliver the killing blow. We await your signal. There, in front of us. The French pushed back, there'll be a lot of opportunities for us up north. You mean, sir? You are grateful to. Edward. Not so fun on the other end of the barrel, is it? Look out! Sir. Where are you off to, Edward? He's trying to avoid dying.
I never took you for a coward, Edward. Come on, then! Such arrogance. I always knew it would be the end of you. Is the end of you. Don't. Hurry before he gets away. I said go! I don't deserve this! You're a hypocrite, Haytham! I'm sorry, Edward, but you forced my hand! Death opens a door. It's nothing personal. Well, maybe it is a little personal. Been a pain in my ass, after all. But we are brothers in arms. Once, perhaps. No longer. Do you think I've forgotten what you did? All those innocents slaughtered, and for what? It does not engender peace to cut your way to resolution. Wrong. Whether we applied the sword more liberally, and more often, the world would be a better place than it is today. In this instance, I concur. Farewell, Edward. My part of the bargain, I expect that you will honor yours. Follow me. Hmm. All right. Ah, yes, she takes him to the wall. You seem disappointed. I thought that I held a key that would open something here. This room is all there is. I expected more. What do they mean? It tells the story of your Zizu. Who came into their world and shaped it for what life might come. She had a hard journey, fraught with great loss and peril. But she believed in her children and what they might achieve. And though she is long gone from the physical world, her eyes still watch over us. Her ears still hear our words. Her hands still guide us. And her love still gives us strength. You have shown me great kindness, dear. Thank you. I... I should go.
Ah. Master Kenway, did you find it then? It was not the right place. The others are waiting for you. Gentlemen, please sit. I fear our temple was no more than a painted cave. Although it did contain precursor images and script, which means we are close. Not close enough, it seems. We need to redouble our efforts and expand our order and establish a permanent base here. Although the sight eludes us, I am confident we will find it. Truth. Here, here. Furthermore, I believe it is time we welcome Charles into our fold. He has proven himself a loyal disciple and served unerringly since the day he came to us. He should be able to share in our knowledge and reap all the benefits that such a gift implies. Are any opposed? Very well. Charles. Come, stand. Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order and all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost? I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. Together. We will usher in the dawn of a new world, one defined by purpose and order. <laughs> Give me your hand. And this is where I sat there. I'm like, what the hell's you going on here? Are a Templar. <laughs> May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the, May the Father of Understanding, understanding guide, us. Oh. guide us. The first shark. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> That was my reaction to it. Oh, Desmond. I felt your pain. It was weird as fuck to play as a Templar for a little bit. You all saw that, right? Wow. Well, indeed. The key must be the amulet Haytham took from London. We might know what it looks like, but we're no closer to finding it. Desmond, you need to keep going. Hey, he's your ancestor too. Why don't you hop in the Animus? Really? That's your response? It's like dealing with a six-year-old. What is wrong with you, Desmond? You want to know what's wrong? I'm sick of being treated like I'm not even here. Desmond, do this. Desmond, do that. Desmond, you better figure things out because the sun is going to turn us all to ash. And I know I was really nice to you, but actually I'm just another Templar plot twist. And yes, I would like very much for you to be controlled by a magic space wizard so that you can murder me. So there's your answer. I'm sick of being a goddamn pawn. I thought it might be different with you. I mean, you're my father, but turns out you're no better than the fucking Templars. <laughs> Don't you ever equate me to those bastards again. You hear me? Everything I do, everything I have done, has been for you. Maybe I pushed a little too hard, asked a little too much, but try and remember exactly what's at stake here. You need to get it together, kid. We're running out of right. time. Right, that was unusual. Well, I'm just gonna pretend that this never happened and get back <laughs> to bringing everyone up to speed on where we stand. The news isn't good. It appears this temple is powered by a collection of, um, well, I guess they're batteries. You found one on your way in, but there aren't any more, at least not down here. Any idea on where we can find replacements? Not yet, so I intend to tiptoe into the Abstergo database. Now, if I can cross-reference these particular devices with their database, then maybe we'll get lucky. See what you can do. Obviously. Anyway, Desmond, you can either take a look around here or we can head back to the Animus. Alright. Yeah, 
And with that, it will end for now. I will bring you guys in next time. See y'all then.